Ladies and gentlemen, we have an extremely peculiar situation right now. The Scott A fan blows goodwill out the window. Tonight's gubernatorial debate turns nasty and awkward before the candidates even step on the stage. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Brett Conley. And I'm Meredith McDonough. Florida is no stranger to peculiar politics, but tonight had to be one of the weirdest starts to a debate in decades. And right now, we want to take a shot of the stage here at Bailey Hall in Broward County. And as you can see, the two candidates who were invited to take part in this debate right now are not stepping up on the stage. Governor Rick Scott nearly refused to participate because his challenger, Democrat Charlie Crist, insisted on using a fan under his podium to keep him cool. Scott's camp claimed that was against debate rules. Chris stepped onto the stage and stood alone with the clock ticking as moderators tried to explain the situation to a confused audience. About eight minutes later, the Republican governor changed his mind and stepped onto stage to debate. And finally, Chris and Scott exchanged barbs over everything from gay marriage to the economy. West Two political reporter Greg Fox is live at Broward College in South Florida, where the verbal bombs were exploding. Greg, voters definitely have a clear choice here. Uh, they do, and and that really is the benefit of a live television debate because. The voters get a chance to see those differences. They did so tonight at Broward College as they debated all kinds of issues from Stand Your Ground to the Affordable Care Act. But uh, why should they uh, elect me as governor again? Rick Scott looked and sounded winded, unnerved, almost as if his staff had rushed him onto the stage after the eight minute delay from the debacle over Christ's ever present fan. Chris responded to the first Scott claim that his move to raise taxes in the wake of recession put people out of work. The people of Florida know that I didn't cause the global economic meltdown <laughs> any more than, thank you, any more than Rick Scott caused the national economic recovery. He didn't want to do the job. He spent all of his time trying to be vice president and then running against Marco Rubio for the Senate. He lost, 3,000 3, teachers lost their job while Charlie was governor. On education, Chris blasted Scott over K-12 spending cuts, and Scott hit Chris hard for raising college tuition. And we stopped Charlie's tuition increase. So now 18,000 families this month got back $200 million. $200 million back in their pockets. That's an interesting thing to assert from a guy who ran a company who had to pay the largest fine for fraud in the history of the United States of America. And on gay marriage, Governor Scott refused to answer the question, is Florida's ban discriminatory? I don't believe in discrimination, uh, but, I, but look, what I... But I believe that gay couples should have the right to marry. He's taken every side of this, uh, every side of this, issue, this issue. Okay, thank you. And in the wake of the Trayvon Martin murder and the George Zimmerman acquittal, a stand your ground was discussed. Charlie Chris said he wants to overhaul it. Scott said the stand your ground law is fine just the way it is. Meredith. Greg, let's get back to Fangate now. Towards the end of the debate, both candidates were questioned about the incident. Charlie Chris was asked first why he brought the fan in the first place. Let's take a listen. Why not? <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's, is there anything wrong with being comfortable? I don't think there is. Having compassion with other people, we, we did fine. Thank you, Elliot. And Governor Scott, why the delay coming out over a fan? Well, I waited to be, until we figured out if he was going to show up. He said he wasn't going to come to the. Uh, uh, he was. He said he was going to come to the debate. So why come out until he's ready? Greg, you are very familiar with Charlie Chris' attachment to his fan. Uh, I've known Charlie Chris for about 20 years, and uh, uh, the fan has been very present, I would say, the last 10 years in various campaigns that he's had for governor, for Senate, now for governor again. I've interviewed him a few times, one on one this year. He has had a fan with him at that time. And I remember a previous experience when he was running for Senate. Uh, that I showed up in a room where the fan was set up and I wasn't really clear that he needed it and we unplugged it and moved it and as soon as he sat down the first thing he noticed after he shook my hand was where's the fan and then he immediately asked someone on his staff to go get it and bring it back and plug it in so he likes to be as he says comfortable
All right, thank you so much. Greg Fox reporting live for us tonight from Broward County.